Hey guys, Coach Phil Farrelly, husband, father, personal trainer. Thank you for watching this video. So this is a video I was doing as part of my 21 day challenge. I'm running a beta group at the moment. They're gonna give me some awesome feedback. And I thought it's another video where there's a huge amount of value in it in such a one small topic. I thought I'll share it with everybody. So that's why I'm doing it as a Facebook Live now to, to pretty much everybody, not just my 21 day group. And I've borrowed this, this, some of these ideas from other people, like a lot of people incorporate this as well, but using, looking at seven habits of highly effective people by Stephen Covey, he, part of it, he talks about um, sharpening the ax. So say it might take, um, someone might be trying to chop down a tree, it might be taking say, might take them 10 hours to chop down the tree and you, you look at them and you can see the, the ax is blunt and you say to them, hold it, you know, if you sharpen that axe, it might take a lot less time. And that person goes, no, I just don't have time. I've got to get it done now. And they're just going like crazy chopping down that tree. But use a comparison, they stop sharpening the axe. It might take them, yes, an hour to sharpen the axe, but then it might just take one more hour to chop down that tree. So instead of taking 10 hours to chop down that tree, it's taken them two hours. And this is an, another example why um, Sometimes doing less actually means more. This, I, I got taught this and it's perfect. I, I actually do this to with a lot of my clients and I'd actually, I'd recommend you teaching it to someone else and actually doing it with someone else. So say you might want to stand up. I'm just going to move the camera back a bit. And what I do is I get someone to be in front of me and say just push on my fist. So they're going to be pushing everything they've got. Focus 100%. Their goal is to push me back. So they'll use both their hands, they'll push all their body weight and they'll probably push me back quite easily. But then what I get them to do is, I give them a whole heap of distractions. So rather than just focus on that one thing, I might get them to say tap their right foot on the ground, try to pat their, or maybe circle their stomach in a clockwise or any clockwise direction and then try to count backwards, say from 101 by say sevens. So they've got all these distractions. I might just put one of my fingers out and then get them to try to push me back with their spare hand. And they're distracted with all these other things and they're not even pushing back on my, my finger at all. And that's, like I, I'd, I'd recommend, it's actually quite fun and it's quite funny. Do that with someone that you know and by doing that with someone you know, you're actually reinforcing what you're learning but you're also teaching them uh, and you're giving something that's going to give them value. And I know for myself personally, uh, recently I've taken on way too much. I felt overwhelmed. And what I'm doing now is rather than trying to deal with about 50 million things all at once, I'm narrowing it down to just a few things. Um, that's where I'm also using a Kanban board. So you can see my big whiteboard there. So I'm using that to help me. So yes, I've got all these things that I can do and I can work on. Um, but I'm just putting them in the to-do forgetting about it, just transferring, just say no more than three things into my doing and then just focusing on that. So I feel like a hell of a lot more in control. And it's, and this is where it comes down to my, my people in my 21 day program as well. If you're doing like a million and one things, say you might be taking your kids out to do all of these um, sporting things, you might take them dancing, singing, you've got all these things you're doing as well. You're doing other stuff for work. You don't know how to say no. Um, you're spending, you having trouble spending time with your partner, you feel like you just got no time to exercise or to look after yourself. That's because you're doing so many things. You've been distracted by so many things. It's like an octopus trying to tap all these different things, count backwards. Um, and you can't really achieve much like in that example that I, I showed you guys. So for all of those that are going to be in my 21 day program, if you feel like you've got too much, narrow it down because your, your health is in a, a really, really important investment. You want to give as much focus and attention as you can. And think about it, it's just three weeks. 21 days are just three weeks. So three weeks of your time, we're just going to go through a lot of the basics. And you're going to take, it's, it's like a building block. And it's like building that um, Great Wall of China. It starts with just one block. So we're, that's what we're going to do in that 21 days. Just work on that one block and then you can take that and build on top of it. So basically, moral of the story is, you can achieve a hell of a amount more by doing less. If you guys have got any questions, make sure you let me know. If, if you're in that situation where you just don't have the time, you feel you're so overwhelmed, 
you don't know where to start, just um, contact me and let me know and we can have a look at what you're doing um, and, and see where as well we can um, find that time for you. Thank you for watching everybody. Give me a thumbs up so I know you guys are watching. Hopefully you guys got value out of this. Have a fantastic day. Catch you guys all later.